My brothers and sisters, may the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his apostles, Behold, I am sending you like sheep in the midst of wolves. So be shrewd as serpents and simple as doves. But be aware of men, for they will hand you over to courts and scourge you in their synagogues, and you will be led before governors and kings for my sake, as a witness before them and the pagans. When they hand you over, do not worry about how you are to speak or what you are to say. You will be given at that moment what you are to say. For it will not be you who speak, but the Spirit of your Father speaking through you. Brother will hand over brother to death, and the father his child. Children will rise up against parents and have them put to death. You will be hated by all because of my name, but whoever endures to the end will be saved. When they persecute you in one town, flee to another. Amen, I say to you, you will not finish the towns of Israel before the Son of Man comes. The Gospel of the Lord. As you recall, yesterday's account in Matthew kind of delineated for us the uh, process under which the apostles would carry out the mission of Jesus, that essentially they would be asked to do the same as he did. They'd also suffer the same sense of persecution and despair as he sometimes experienced. And today, the Gospel of Matthew continues to give us that story by kind of specifying some of the processes that could happen as a result of sharing this mission. We're told that the disciples have to be as shrewd as serpents and as simple as doves, and to realize they'll be handed over to the courts because of their belief and conviction. And perhaps even more powerful is the statement about sometimes parents will rise up against their children and children against their parents. We have to remember, especially in the culture of the time, the whole sense of family identity was pivotal. A person had their understanding of who they were by what part of the family they were a part of. And then, in fact, being part of a family assured security and a sense of protection. And so to suggest that this following of Jesus would break apart those, those binding uh, lines that exist between individuals within a family is very much a, a concern, I'm sure, for the disciples, and this has been ever since for the church. We celebrate today one example of that in Kateri Tikawitha, who is the first Native American to be given the, the title of saint, essentially underwent what the gospel suggests to a, today. She ended up being exiled from her tribe because of her conviction of being a Christian. Uh, they didn't persecute or kill her, but they threw her out. And they made her no longer part of their family, uh, family life. And yet through that all, even at a very young age at 15, when she was forced to leave, she continued to remain true to the faith and to continue to recognize the fact that there was more to be learned and to be gained by being with Jesus than there was to be gained by what she could in her own uh, world. I had the great uh, honor years ago when she was canonized to be present for her canonization in Rome. And it was sort of interesting to watch uh, the thousands of Native Americans that were present there so proud of the fact that one of their own is considered to be now a witness to faith. For each of us, that same call to follow the gospel at all costs is made. We're most, for the most part very lucky. Our families don't persecute us because of our belief and we're not thrown out of our homes because of what we say we, we are a part of. But there's sometimes very subtle kind of persecutions that can take place as the culture around us continues to become far more secular than it once was. And as sometimes within our own households, people begin to say, well, what's not so important? Make a choice, do this other thing instead. It's much easier.